Lepo pozdravljeni in dobrodošli na predstavitvi Univerze v Ljubljani. Hello everybody and welcome to the University of Ljubljana online sessions. We are happy that so many of you joined us today. So this first session will be recorded and published on our website. We will send you a video and puppet a presentation to your email address. And if you do not want to be visible, please rename yourself to an anonymous participant and turn off the camera. I would also kindly ask you to mute yourself for a smoother presentation and better sound. My name is Katja Zerar and I'm responsible for the promotion of study and some support activities for international students and collaboration with international partners. I will briefly present you information about study possibilities, benefits for students, opportunities for learning Slovene, scholarships and other activities and possibilities. This will be followed by our student impression, by our student Ahmed Esharovic, who will share with you uh, his experience, how is to study with us. Ahmed will also... Program is full, it's not Ahmed will... Oh, sorry, Ahmed just said that the program is very interested and that he just... Looking forward to start. So, okay. Um, so here is our schedule. After the general presentation, we will invite you to join the group according to your study interest. Katya, we can't hear you. M Mute is there. Oh, sorry. Okay, škoda, da niste prej povedali. Okay. Bilo sam tri sekunde, veš. Hello, everybody. Do you hear me now? Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, now we are going to our today's schedules. Uh, after the general presentation, we will invite you to join the group according to your study interest. So all interested in bachelor studies will stay in this main room where we will present you admission and recognition procedure for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs. All others will join the selected rooms where you will learn about master degree program electrical engineering, master and PhD program related to the public sector governance, PhD programs, architecture, statistics, and environmental protection. And then at 3 p.m., we will start with the presentation of the PhD program in chemical sciences. Our faculties and academies also offer more than 400 degree programs and they organize different information days and sessions. And for more information, please check this website. So now I will shortly present you our country. Uh, Slovenia is a very safe country. Our natural world is dominated by green, while the country features diversity in all regions. Slovenia occupies an exceptional position at the meeting points of the Alps and Mediterranean, and you can hike in the mountains and swim in the sea just in one day. Slovenia also has a great geographical location, which allows a good starting point for traveling abroad when the, uh, the borders will be open. And as you can see, uh, as our country has the, has the shape of a hen. And on the picture below, the hen is dressed in Slovenian national traditional dress. So as a student in Slovenia, you will have many benefits from subsidized meals and transport to scholarship opportunities and possibilities for student work. Our university is located in Ljubljana. Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia and it's very pleasant and beautiful city to live in. We have many museums, galleries, theaters, cinemas, one of the oldest philharmonic orchestra in the world. There is our university, many institutes and libraries. The city is also surrounded by parks and protected areas of nature, which allows you to hike in nature just from the city center. Um, 40,000 students give 
the city a youthful appeal. In the city center, you can find lots of pubs, restaurants, clubs, and shops. Kongresni Trg, Kongresni Square, is one of the central squares in Ljubljana, where is also the seat of our university. So, University of Ljubljana is the oldest and largest higher education and scientific institution, research institution in Slovenia. It was established in 1919 with five member schools. And today, at present, we have 23 faculties and three art academies that covers all fields of study from art, fine arts, natural science, technology and engineering, social sciences, humanities, to medicine, health sciences, and sport. Most of our faculties and academies are located in Ljubljana, except Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport, which is located in Kortoros. The central building, all three academies, and some faculties are located in the city center, and some of the most recent and modern buildings were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana. In this academic year, we have more than 40,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students who study at our university. And among them, we have almost 9% degree-seeking international students from 104 countries. And approximately 6,000 higher education teachers, researchers, assistants, and administrative staff are employed at our university. So, why choose to study at our university? Uh, an education acquired at the University of Ljubljana will allow you to gain the knowledge, practical experience and skills you need to succeed in your career wherever in the world you choose to work and live. You will be encouraged to get involved in numerous extracurricular activities, attend a series of additional education and training courses and become a part of the vibrant international academic community. With the help of tutors and various support activities, we will provide you support in integrating into your studies and life in Slovenia. According to Slovenian legislation, we have to organize all programs in Slovene language. We offer some programs parallelly in, in English and other languages, and you can find this information in the call for enrollment for the individual program. As the study is conducted mostly in Slovenian language, students from foreign countries can attend various Slovenian language courses for easier, inter easier integration into the Slovenian environment and more successful study. As well, you have also the possibility to join the activity called Year Plus, which I will explain a little bit later. Uh, some organized forms of study at the doctoral level are usually carried out together on a smaller scale or with consultation. In the event international students are enrolled, the lecturers and professors settle uh, and students settle the language for the lectures. International students and mentors usually communicate in English or another agreed foreign language and you will find more information about uh, individual degree program you're interested in at the program presentation later. So I mentioned before activity year plus. Uh, this activity was designed specially to help international students to acquire language and other skills, expertise in the chosen field of study, as well as the opportunity to learn about the culture and history of Slovenia in general. Uh, it is meant for the first year of bachelor or master studies, and it allows the extension of student status under certain condition. Here I would also like to point out that we have a limited number of available places for this activity, so just please follow the application deadlines, which will be uh, published on this website. Uh, here, uh, I also put some information about other possibilities for learning online. Uh, we have prepared Slovenian language uh, course, uh, which is freely accessible for foreigners and is prepared in eight different languages. 
you can, but and you, this is freely accessible, but also we organize online and classroom courses, uh, which are organized by our center for Slovene as a second and foreign language. And here at this Learning Slovene website, you can find all information about possibilities for learning Slovene. Uh, we also organize different summer, autumn, winter and spring uh, school of Slovenian language. And here we have also available some scholarships, uh, which are provided by the Ministry of Education, Science and Sport. Uh, but this scholarship uh, are, um, are um, uh, for this scholarship could apply um, members of Slovene ethnic minorities in other countries and descendants of Slovene immigrants. Uh, you can see here that at the moment we have open application for Autumn School of Slovene Language and Winter School of Slovene Language 2022. Um, we have uh, University of Ljubljana, we have uh, very well developed uh, career centers uh, where our career counselors provide students and graduate various activities in the field of personal and professional development. They also organize events where you can establish contact with potential employers and many others additional education and training courses. As our student, you will be also able to get involved in various extracurricular activities and develop competencies, skills and strengths in areas that are not directly part of your study program. Currently, the most systematically regulated extracurricular activity is a sport activity where students can gain three HTS credit points in their bachelor and master studies. We also organize different recreational daily recreational sports program. And now at the moment during the epidemic, when the hall is closed, uh, online sports activities take place. So also as our students, you will have many possibilities for practical work and internship and a good access to library resources and services. Um, now I will present you our degree programs. Um, our degree programs range across all fields of study, are internationally renowned, comparable and professionally attractive, uh, which also provides good international mobility of students and staff. Uh, I mentioned before that our faculties and academies have accredited more than 400 degree programs and all relevant information about offer degree program for the next academic year, you can find in the call for enrollment, which is already published at our website. Uh, then we will also find information about enrollment requirements, language, duration, and number of available places. Uh, now I will shortly present you uh, the nominal length of bachelor degree programs uh, is three or four years. Uh, you can gain 180 or 240 ETTS credit points. Uh, and we also have single cycle master degree programs, which last five or six years and are accredited with 300 or 360 ETTS credit points. Um, single cycle master degree programs are for EU regulated professions, uh, such as medicine, dental medicine, veterinary, pharmacy and architecture. And then we have master degree programs uh, where the nominal length is one or two years and are accredited with six or 120 um, ECTS credit points. Our faculties and academies offer 21 doctoral degree programs. Uh, here on this slide, you can see a list of all offered and accredited doctoral degree programs. And almost all doctoral degree programs last four years, except governments, governance and economics in the public sector, which last three years. And later on, we will also hear the presentation of some uh, doctoral programs. Um, now, information regarding admission and recognition of education. Uh, Slovenia has a national online system for enrollment and recognition of foreign education. 
Uh, it's important to know that matura or diploma is not required for applying, but is required for enrolling. So you should apply as soon as possible and then uh, just follow the timeline when you have to send us all required documents. Uh, here, I would also like to point out that we have been spotting some misuse of the name University of Ljubljana and data regarding application and admission procedure for some recruitment agencies and agents uh, who charge to candidates for this procedure. Um, just uh, be careful, uh, University of Ljubljana does not char charge any fee for admission and recognition of education. And also, you do not need services of the agents and agencies uh, uh, for application uh, to our university. And also, their system does not guarantee you a successful application. Application is not complicated. Just follow the instructor or contact us for help. And later, our admission officers will present you in detail uh, application and admission procedure for the bachelor and single cycle master studies. As well, colleagues from the faculties will explain you the procedure for individual master and PhD program in the breakout room. Here is also important information regarding tuition fee. It's good to know that uh, not all students have to pay tuition fees. So if you are coming from EU countries, Switzerland, Iceland, Liechtenstein or Norway, you do not have to pay a tuition fee for bachelor and master studies. Also, if you're coming from countries with which the Republic of Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreement, also you do not have to pay tuition fee. And uh, our country has concluded bilateral agreement with Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo and Serbia. Also students with permanent residence uh, in Slovenia, uh, who themselves or their parents are taxpayers and person granted international protection or applicants for international application do not have to pay tuition fee. Uh, also scholarship holders of the Republic of Slovenia do not pay uh, tuition fee and you don't have to pay tuition fee if you decide to come as exchange students to our university. And here are included all cycles, bachelor, master and doctoral uh, level for exchange uh, opportunity. Uh, now also, here's also information which students have to pay tuition fee. So if you're coming uh, from non-EU countries, excluding, uh, 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 excluding exception I mentioned before, uh, all doctoral students, all part-time students, they have to pay tuition fee. And um, fee mostly ranks between 2,500 or 5,000 euros per academic year. This depends on the study program. Uh, for example, the highest fee is for the program at the Faculty of Medicine and Academy of Music, which is 15,000 euros per academic year. Uh, but please check uh, for the individual program at our website, uh, how much is the fee for the program you are interested in. Um, here, I would also like to point out that administrative costs and compulsory health insurance is not are not included in the fee, and this needs to be taken before the start of your study. And just for your information, monthly living costs in Slovenia are around 6, uh, 600 euros, but of course, this depends on your lifestyle. Uh, also, good information for PhD students. We have a co-founding scheme for doctoral studies and uh, doctoral students will most likely sign a statement at, their, at your enrollment with which you will confirm your intent to be co-founded and state that they to meet all requirements. And you can turn to the individual University of Ljubljana member, academy or faculty for more information. Uh, and you will also receive information regarding co-founding amount from the faculty or academy uh, where you will be enrolled. Uh, this is expected in November. And the co-founding amount for an individual student depends on the number of enrolled students 
who uh, meeting the requirements for co-funding. And also at our website, you can find detailed information about our co-funding scheme for doctoral studies. Um, we have public scholarship development disability and maintenance fund of the Republic of Slovenia, which uh, carries out various scholarship programs. At the moment, they have open calls for a scholarship for doctoral study castology and scholarship for citizens of Jordan and Palestina. So please check uh, these links for more information and uh, requirements and deadlines. Also, uh, it is expected uh, to publish call for, uh, for a scholarship for Slovenians abroad. This is for bachelor and master studies. Call is expected to be published in August. And also on this website, uh, you can find more information for individual scholarship. So uh, here I have information about our uh, research project achievements and results. Um, so our university is also the largest and central educational and research institution in Slovenia. Uh, we have approximately 30% of all registered researchers. And uh, our project keep pace with the latest development in the areas of art, science and technology at home and abroad. Our researchers, teachers and professors are involved in various research groups, projects and activities. And also as our students, you will have opportunity to join uh, to such projects and groups. Uh, so here are just a few of our research achievements. Uh, for example, our professors are studying together with Chinese uh, experts the regenerative abilities of human fish, which could help us in medical treatment. Uh, also, they discovered connection between Zika virus and fetal brain damage. Uh, they are also successful in the field of robotics, cancer treatment with operation, and many other areas. And uh, you can check our project and research activities in our research news uh, section of the below listed website. In cooperation with uh, foreign universities, uh, we conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies. Uh, and we uh, encourage international exchanges of students and staff. We are actively involved in international partnership and we are leading the association Utopia, which includes five other European universities. And we also actively participate in other international association. Here I would like to point out a uh, uh, network, uh, Venice International University, where students have and professors have opportunity to meet students and staff from all over the world in uh, Venice. This is consortium of around 20 universities all over the world. And as our students, you have opportunity uh, to go for an exchange there for a semester or two, or to attend uh, PhD, different PhD academies, uh, graduate seminars, uh, and so on. Uh, so, as our student, you will have many opportunities also for exchange or practical training at partners, universities and other institutions. Uh, also, a good opportunity are our summer school courses, uh, which are offered by our faculties and, and academies in this academic year. Uh, we offer more than 30 different summer school courses. Uh, and of course, you are invited to explore the option and find an enjoyable and productive way to spend your summer. Uh, so um, summer schools are organized in various di disciplines for economics, business, law, to social work and technical sciences. And the most traditional ones are the summer school programs of Slovenian language. This year we have, for example, 57th seminar of Slovenian language, literature and culture, which, attract, uh, which attracts more Slovenian language enthusiasts all over the world. And uh, you can find list of summer school courses and related details uh, at this link. So also important information regarding visa and health insurance. 
Um, here, if you are a citizen of the member states of the uh, European Economic Area, you may enter Slovenia with a valid identity card or valid trans uh, passport. And third country nationals must acquire visa or residence permit, uh, residence permit from Slovenia's diplomatic mission abroad. Uh, and please note, uh, University of Ljubljana, we do not provide support for the visa application process and we can either not influence this procedure. Here we put information regarding uh, representation abroad and you can find a uh, contact for your country, for the representative of Slovenian um, representation uh, in your country. So, uh, due to the current situation, also please check our website where you can also find updated information about border crossing. And this information is also published on the Slovenian Ministry of Interior website. Uh, now, regarding health insurance, um, students who are insured in the EU member states, European Economic area, Switzerland and Australia, have the right to obtain emergency or necessary healthcare services. Uh, our country also has concluded a bilateral agreement with Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Serbia and Montenegro. And if you are insured in these countries, you have the right to emergency healthcare services. Uh, but if you're coming from countries which are not in the EU uh, or European Economic Area or countries without bilateral agreement with Slovenia, then you have to conclude the compulsory health insurance in Slovenia and you can register for insurance at the unit of health insurance Slovenia. But based on your inclusion in the insurance system of Slovenia, you have free access only to healthcare services within the scope of compulsory health insurance. And considering that you are required to cover the difference to the full price of healthcare services yourself, we recommend you that you also take out supplementary health insurance at commercial insurance company. Many of you also asked uh, when you applied information regarding accommodation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, University of Ljubljana does not own a student dormitory and uh, it is also not possible to reside uh, in student dormitory for international students. Uh, only uh, recipients of the ministry uh, scholarship get uh, available spot place in a student dormitory. Otherwise, you have to find apartment by yourself. Here we prepared different uh, website information, contact information uh, to help you find accommodation. We also have agreement with Student Council Institute. Here is free room rental agency called M Quadrat. Uh, and you can contact them for more information uh, and they will also provide you support uh, uh, regarding uh, looking for accommodation. So uh, it's, I almost came to the end of my presentation. Um, Students are the heart of our community. They are also motivation of our faculty and staff. And here are some of our graduates and students who explain what it's like to learn with us and why they choose University of Ljubljana. And some of them, they also provide their contacts and you can contact them for more information. At this website, you will find impression per individual country. So you can contact a student from your country if you find it on the list. Uh, and uh, now I would like to invite Ahmed Yasharovic uh, to share his experience about studying uh, at our university and living in Slovenia and Ljubljana. Ahmed, please. Thank you, Katya. Uh, oh, just a second. Okay, I hope that we can uh, see ourselves, hear ourselves and Let's start. Well, uh, hello everyone. I'm Ahmed. I'm 22 years old and I'm currently a third year student at the Faculty of Natural Sciences and Engineering studying in the field of uh, graphics and multimedia. Um, originally, I'm from Bosnia and the step uh, when I decided to move um, um, 
and to study abroad in Slovenia uh, was exceptionally uh, huge. And when I decided to apply to the um, University of Ljubljana, I had no hesitations. And when I saw the, that the University of Ljubljana is uh, at the, the 3% top of universities in the whole world. That was my call. And, and of course, the tuition uh, fee, which is um, um, at that time uh, when the bilateral agreement was, uh, was signed, uh, included uh, also us students from Bosnia and Herzegovina, was um, definitely the, the the step when I decided to study here. Uh, of course, there are um, the good things, there are downsides to uh, everything, but you need to, to be especially assured that you have found something that you want to study and that uh, that kind of step can lead you into something making the better perspective and better future for you. Um, when I've decided, decided to study in Ljubljana, I wasn't actually um, sure when I will be accepted, uh, how, how will I go through all the administ administrative process of getting visa, getting he health insurance and all of that stuff. But yeah, the downside, the first of all, was uh, I saw that Marina uh, stated that in the chat. Um, it's that you get, uh, you find out that you've been accepted uh, in September. So you have uh, roughly a month to pack your things, pack your bags, uh, move with your life and go to a um, totally um, unfamiliar um, country and, and you need to start your life uh, from the beginning and, and some kind of, uh, you need to get used to things, you need to uh, find out where you can eat, where you can find accommodations. And in Ljubljana, yeah, the accommodation is really a problem because the prices are really high, but I do suggest that if you get accepted that you really, in the beginning, don't care about those things. Um, you need to set a focus at university and when you find something, you find it and in the months where you will find out more about Ljubljana, find where you can look about those places, find the, the places, uh, the apartments, you then you're uh, kindly um, starting to adapt to the new life, to the new um, country, to the city where, where you will be spending your um, university days. Um, I didn't have the troubles uh, and I, I, first of all, I, I was more concerned about the language, but um, during the adoption process, uh, I had uh, a lot to, 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 to go to the year plus program and also with the help of my colleagues uh, from faculty and uh, the help uh, uh, from uh, all of my um, friends who are uh, here, uh, also my Slovene friends and friends from abroad. I've uh, kind of adopted and I've learned the language uh, really fast. Um, also, the professors are really kind and really approachable. So you can always present in English, uh, write your seminar thesis in English and uh, kind of um, find yourself out there uh, in, in, in the wholly new space. Um, when I started, um, my studying experience, I was concerned uh, also uh, how will I get visa, how will I um, kind of cooperate with new things. But the first thing that you got, everything is written. You just need to read, you just need to follow the rules. Um, whatever, uh, everything is written um, for the reason. So you kind of go step by step. And the first step is uh, actually finding out that you're accepted and then you're, you come here and you get a text number, you get your uh, mobile phone number, uh, the bank uh, account, and that is uh, also um, opening uh, many doors as you have um, the uh, opportunity to work at student jobs, you have the opportunity to work at internships, you have the opportunity to um, even um, further um, expand your knowledge in, in all those places. Um, I think that Ljubljana in Slovenia is really the best place to uh, get yourself started and, uh, and the opportunities that this university presents and giving uh, its students is really incredible because uh, those opportunities do not include only um, the, 
how would I say it, the, the broader knowledge uh, about the, your sphere of interest, but also it gives you uh, lots of uh, life experience and it can help you uh, navigate your life uh, also in, in, in many other areas and it can open so many doors. Um, currently, I'm working at the informatics centers at the University of Ljubljana and I couldn't be more prouder of myself. Uh, and of course, those uh, opportunities come and go. Uh, yours is just um, to find something that uh, you kind of like, uh, to um, try to um, be open with those things. And of course, the, the faculty and studying is um, uh, the most important, but uh, through the faculty and, and, and all of those uh, uh, extracurriculum activities, you're actually uh, finding a lot more about Ljubljana, a lot more about Slovenia. Ahmed, uh, we I was you. muted. Yes. See? Yes. Um, I hope that I wasn't muted. No, no, just for a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but yeah. Um, what I was trying to say is uh, that uh, University of Ljubljana really uh, gives you the opportunities to grow, and you just need to um, accept them. You just need to uh, kind of find uh, uh, the opportunities that you want to work on and to study uh, everything that uh, you kind of want. Um, from that point, I also do believe that uh, um, the administ administrative things and all of the uh, visa and health insurance uh, should be in the second place, uh, but uh, in the first place, there, ne there needs to be your will to, to kind of uh, start something that uh, you're really wanting to find that course, to find um, that faculty and to find that program that you will actually enjoy. Um, all in all, if you have any questions um, regarding the uh, process of uh, visas, uh, administration, about uh, finding accommodation, you can always contact me uh, through the social networks. I will also leave my email um, and link to some of the social networks so you can contact me. Do not be scared, really, because I also contacted a lot of people before I came to Ljubljana, and that's uh, how I uh, also find myself situated in, and uh, got myself started in the first place. So thank you all for listening. Um, I'm currently having um, this technical support and also um, um, the, um, how do you say it, via in English. <laughs> Practice. Practices, yes. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm currently focusing on, on, on multitasking, so maybe I kind of gibberish on some things. But if you need a further um, explanation of anything that I said, or if you have any questions, please do not be afraid to contact me. And okay. Thank you. Ahmed, thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, now here we put some uh, contact information where you can contact us later on for more information. And now uh, we will, uh, we would like to invite you to join the group according to your study interest. So all interested for bachelor studies, please stay in this main room where we'll present you admission and recognition procedure for bachelor studies. And then all others, please join in the selected room. Now we will start with the presentations in five breakout rooms. We will start with presentation in master in electrical science, uh, electrical engineering. Here we have a good news. Uh, we expect tuition reduction at this program and you will learn more about this in program uh, in breakout room. Uh, then you can join to uh, breakout room master and PhD in public sector governance, PhD in architecture, PhD in statistics, and PhD in environmental protection. Then presentation for the PhD in chemical sciences will start at 3 p.m. All interested for this program, please join us. Uh, you can join us now in the breakout room and wait till 3 p.m or you can reconnect again to Zoom application at 3 p.m. 
So if you need any help uh, to join a selected breakout room, just contact Ahmed Ula support for more information and for help. So now here in this main room, uh, we will continue uh, with the presentation of the admission and recognition procedure for bachelor and single cycle master studies. With us are my colleagues from the Higher Education Application and Information Service. Uh, Ms. Tania Zuzek uh, is head of office and she will present you the, proced the procedure. And also with us is Ms. Alinka Shuliboy. She is available for all your questions in the chat. So, Hello, everybody. Welcome. As Katia has already said, I'm Tanya Zuzek. The topic of the presentation is application and admission procedure for enrollment into the first year of studies for a bachelor and single cycle master degree programs at the University of Ljubljana. And my colleague, Alenka, Alenka Shuligoy, will be answering uh, your questions during the presentation. So uh, please write the questions in chat. Uh, just a little. So let's get started. How do you join our family of students at the University of Ljubljana and how to apply to degree programs of the University of Ljubljana? The application form is published on the Evesha web portal. You can, start, you can uh, apply in two languages, either Slovenian or English. Tanya, maybe just go to the full screen. Just, just, just activate the full screen. Just a little. Abo. Uh, una ikonca vidiš od spodi za prezentacijo. Ko greš v pombe, pri pombe, pa tole, da ti bo poveča. Če ne gre pa kar nadaljuj. Kar nadaljuj, čakaj. Ja, jaz ti ne znam, jaz ti ne moram. Diapozitiv. Tale, ja, še malo naprej, tukaj spodi, če greš pri pombe, še naprej, še, še naprej, še desno, še, 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 še enega, še enega. Ok, ok, thank you. You have to complete all the steps in the application and application have to be sent electronically at the end. You can submit a little... You have submit the application with a username or password. This means without a secure electronic signature or with a digital certificate. Regardless of the method of submitting the application, it's sufficient to send it electronically. Uh, please do not send it uh, via, via email or by post. It's not necessary to send a printed and hand signed application form as it was required two years ago before the uh, pandemic. You need uh, to be careful to not miss the application deadline. I will tell you a little later uh, when the application deadlines take place. All dates are published on the Eversha web portal and also on the university website. The application and admission procedure begins each year with the call for enrollment. The call for enrollment was published on the Eversha web portal at the beginning of February. For each public, uh, published bachelor and uh, single single master's degree programs, I published the enrollment condition and selection criteria. It means uh, which grades are taken uh, into account in the selection procedure if uh, more candidates are applied than are the number of enrollment slots. And the number of enrollment slots, enrollment places are also published in the call for enrollment. 
In the application, you can select maximum of three different uh, study choices, study programs. You need to select only first choice, first or second, or maximum three different programs. Uh, the order of the degree programs are written down is very important. The candidates will be placed in the first one for which they met all the enrollment conditions. If you choose the study program pharmacy in the first place and medicine in the second uh, and achieve uh, for uh, both study programs uh, enough points, you will be placed in the first study programs for which you will uh, have enough uh, points, in this case, at the study program pharmacy. This year, faculties and academies of the University of Ljubljana are published just under 9,000 9, uh, enrollment places for candidates from European Union member states and just our, uh, over 900 enrollment slots for foreign citizens of non-European member states. When can I apply? Application deadlines are published on the websites of the University of Ljubljana and Portal Eva Schoen, also in the call for enrollment. The first application deadline has already ended, and already completed. Uh, the first application deadline starts in February and lasts until March approximately one month for candidates from European Union member states. Candidates from non-European member states have a little uh, longer first application deadline and last about, uh, about two months. About uh, 2,500 candidates from abroad applied in the first application period this year. The second and third application deadlines will take place in August and also in September. The most important uh, is to apply uh, to the study within the deadline. I will no longer be possible to, it will no longer be possible to, uh, to submit uh, an application after the application deadline. Certificates do not need to be attached to the application. You can attach the, them now if you have them or uh, later when you finish high school, you have uh, enough time. So don't worry, worry about it. Here is the table in, uh, in which the required documents are written. Uh, you have to electronically submit through the portal Evasha the certificates of all years of high school and also the final certificate, short chronological description of uh, your uh, entire uh, ed educa uh, education and personal document and also evidence of the Slovene language examination at level B2 for some degree programs. You can get uh, all the information about required documents on the recognition website. How do uh, I submit the required documents? All required documents have to attach electronically through Evasha portal as scans or photographies of the original certificates and other documents. Documents sent by regular, re, regular mail or via email not, uh, will not be considered. Candidates have to attach a Slovene language certificate at level B2 on Portal Evasha if it is so required by a degree program. And here are written degree programs at the University of Ljubljana that require Slovenian language exam at level B2 before enrollment. You can take the Slovenian language exam in Slovenia or in your country. It is important to take the exam at level B2. When you submit the documents, there is enough time. We will wait uh, 
that you finish uh, high school and then send them electronically. Those of you who uh, have already finished high school, send them by June 9. Uh, those who are in the last year of high school and are European Union citizens have to send them by September 10. Uh, and uh, candidates from not European Union countries from uh, 20th of July. After submitting your application, we will contact you and information about uh, documents and also about dates, deadlines you will get on Portal Evasha. It's not enough to just finish high school to enroll in some degree programs. You also need to take a test of uh, your talent. All degree programs that require uh, a talent test are written here. Dates of the tests are published on the website and uh, the academy or uh, faculty will send you an invitation to the test by email. Your grades need to be converted into the Slovenia grading system. Grading scales for uh, some countries are published on the website of the University of Ljubljana. After the selection procedure, we will send you admission decision through the portal Evasha. Enrollment at the faculties uh, will done electronically in September. You are invited to apply for an online, online consultation on the Popper web portal every Wednesday. And here are written contacts. If you have problem with application, you cannot complete uh, the application. You cannot attach documents. Please contact EKC, technical support. And uh, you can get uh, also an information on admission and recognition procedure at this published contacts. If you have questions about the application procedure, uh, write to admission. If you have questions about the documents and recognition, write to the email of the recognition. We answer your questions every day on published telephone numbers and all information on admission and recognition procedure is also available on the published website. Uh, that's all I want to say about admission and recognition procedure. You will meet us if you apply to the University of Ljubljana. We will do, we will do our best not to uh, make this administrative uh, procedure too, compli co too complicated. Uh, for you. Uh, thank you for your attention.